Now, finding a coronavirus vaccine is the key to reopening our societies. And the biggest surprise may be that scientists created a vaccine almost as soon as the virus broke out. NBC's Richard Engel has more on that story. In December 2019, in Wuhan, China, the virus was spreading. A newly identified deadly virus from China. 45 cases have been reported in China, including two deaths. The Chinese government swooped in with all its authoritarian might. But China did something else few noticed. It made a call for help, written in genetic code. You can identify a virus exactly on that kind of code. Chinese researchers quickly cracked the code and published it. This is the code China published online. This is SARS-CoV-2. 30,000 characters, the exact formula for what has been disrupting all of our lives and killed more than a million people. Professor Robin Shattuck fed that code into a computer and came up with a prototype vaccine within weeks. Nearly all the work since then has been testing. So this is the original prototype vaccine? The tube containing the secret to potentially saving millions wasn't even labeled. Essentially, the vaccine design has not changed. So it's more or less the same. What you had in it's the very beginning is what we still have now. Absolutely. The greatest scientific race of our lifetimes is nearly over. The next step, just as difficult, a rapid worldwide distribution that's never been done before. Richard Engel, NBC News, London. As we see more and more COVID case spikes around the country, health officials in the Valley are growing concerned. Dr. Ivan Melendez with the Hidalgo County Health Authority says that while their case numbers have gone down, the curve can still go up. And compared to the spike a couple months ago, Melendez says it's still far from where we need to be. We're 80% better. At the peak of the year uh, in July and August, early August, we had approximately uh, 2,000 people in the hospital, that is in the, in the Rio Grande Valley. We had about 1,200 in Hidalgo County. Today we have about 155. Health officials say that while a vaccine may be near, it doesn't mean face coverings and social distancing should be ignored.